Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with episode five. Oh my god, this has got to be a record for a series with me of the Auto Legends Deep Dives. So today we're going to be going over the Speed Lab, but I wanted to start completely fresh. So let's find a car on the used car lot and set it up from nothing to something. So I think we're going to pick one of my favorite cars that probably has the most customization. And also it's probably one of the quicker cars. We're going to do the Honda Civic Type R. So as you can see, 160 horsepower is what it starts with. 33 grand. We're going to buy it. We're going to deliver it to my garage and see what we can do with it. And then we're going to go to speed shop. So as you can see, spawned in my garage. Here's my new Type R. We're going to go to the speed lab and do some upgrades. This episode's all going to be about the visual upgrades. Next episode, I think I'll do uh, performance. And we'll go from there. So give me one sec. All right, here we are in Speed Lab. As you can see, my car loads up here. I can see all the specs. So you might have noticed a little bit of a difference. If I'm in the home garage, it said 166 horsepower. Here in the Speed Lab, it says 163. It's supposed to be the difference of like wheel horsepower on a dyno versus crank horsepower. It's not working entirely right yet. But like we've always said, this is alpha stages. This is only second alpha. So things are going to change, bugs are going to get fixed, all of that's going to happen. So today, like I said, we're going to focus on respray and visuals and maybe stance tuning. We'll see how much time we got. I like to keep these videos kind of at longest 10 minutes. So let's go visuals. And as you can see, I can look around the car, I can go up, I can go down. My Honda Civic has this little antenna, although mine's on... Oh, they made this thing right-hand drive. That's sick. I just noticed that. So you can get this wide-body kit, which does look really good. But I'll show you some of the other options here as well. So you can get a different front bumper. This front bumper is sweet. I love it. You can get a different side skirt. That just kind of goes on and lays over the original. There's a couple different diffusers. Actually, less customization for this car than I thought. But not a big deal. All of this will change over time. You can get different hoods. Ooh, we got to go carbon fiber. And then you can do a front splitter, which the front splitter is sick. I really like that front splitter. And different spoilers. What's somebody in the comments? Difference between spoilers and wings. I don't actually know. As far as I'm aware, these are spoilers. I think wings are the ones that are actually like gigantic and in the way. So let's pick some parts here. So we're going to put this wing on. We'll do wheels here in a second. I think I want to do that front bumper. I'm going to add that to cart. We're going to do the front splitter. Actually, you don't really need to, do you? No, it just kind of looks silly. We'll do the carbon fiber hood because it's badass. Uh, diffuser. I like to do the one that's a little bit bigger. Side skirts. Obviously, we need them to complete the look. And do we wide body it? I kind of like the look of them stock, but it does look very good wide bodied. Like how good does that look? It does remove my side skirts. Actually, that makes the side skirts a little bit pointless. Let me take the side skirts off and we will add the wide body. There we go. So the wide, wide body with that cool bumper, cool rear bumper. Let's check out, and then I'll come back and do some wheels because I want to get this stuff installed. Let's go back to visuals, and... Oh, it gave me new stuff. What? Stock fender? Oh, hey, this is uh, different. Uh, okay, doors? Oh, I can take the side skirt off. I feel like this is unintended. But it does make for a cool custom Honda. Because no one else is going to have this combo. Anyway. So let's go in. Let's look at some wheels. There's quite a few wheels in the game already, which is really nice. I'm going to start from the far back and we'll work our way across. You can do front wheels and rear wheels separate from each other. So you can do different wheels on you know, front versus back. You got the Workmeister SR1 or S1Rs. You got the work emits, 
whatever. Yeah. You got Vorsteiner, FR-304s, the FR-301s, Titan 7s. These things are sick. The TS-5s, the TR-10s. Those are really nice. There's some sick wheels in here. Those are kind of like TE-37 since we don't have Volks yet. And then your Rotiforms. We got these. These wheels I think are sick. Those things I think are the best wheels in the game. I don't think they fit this car though. I think I'm going to go with these on the front and the back. Now, where is it? It's this one. Got it. I'm going to go with those two front and back. Looks really good. I'm so used to... So, last episode I mentioned that for the last couple of years my microphone's been backwards. I'm so used to looking down and using the red LED as an indicator to know if I am actually have my audio on or not. But it's on the other side. I can't see it anymore. So, let's go to respray. You can do manufacturer colors, which is pretty sick. Oh, the black kind of goes hard with the carbon fiber hood and those wheels. Let's freaking do it. I can't wait until we can do things like uh, window tinting and maybe even window stickers would be really sick in this game. Oh, we can control the brightness of the paint. I kind of forgot. Saturation. Doesn't really do anything if you set it to black. <laughs> but, ooh, wow, I peaked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, headphone users. So let's see, what else can we do? Well, we can go into stance tuning. So I guess I am going to do that this video. This does look really good. I really hope we get more carbon fiber parts, especially for cars like this that are common to have them for nearly everything. Carbon fiber hatch, carbon fiber wing, carbon fiber door panels would be absolutely awesome. Even the carbon fiber like fenders and stuff would be sick. So let's go into the stance. Now, you can do a lot of things in here, which is actually really cool. And it's controlled front and rear. So I'm going to do rear first. You can go, you can raise it another two inches or you can absolutely slam it. So I think in the spirit of Honda, we're going to slam it just like my personal Honda. You can do camber in this game, which is actually, I know, a little bit frowned upon depending on who you talk to. And then you can even do spacers to make them look like they fit a little bit better. I kind of wish they let you take them a little bit further depending on the wide body. That's a suggestion I'll make. Rim diameter, you can also control the wheel size, width, and tire stretch. Now, obviously, the stance boys are always going to have their wheels stretched with the wrong size tire on them. Now let's do the front. Oop, I thought this was ride height. So again, 14 or slam it. But slamming it. Maybe we need to camber first. Will that hide it a little? It does not. Spacer, it only lets me take it out Or What happens if I... Okay. Oh, wow, that removes just like everything. And wheel diameter makes it fit. Sick. What about a little bit of tire stretch now? Not even a little. Sidewall? Okay, I can sidewall. That's good. I wish I could bring it out a little bit more, like I said. But that's pretty much stance tuning. Now, at the moment, stance tuning doesn't do much for your racing. And again, probably will change in the future. Uh, right now, there is a little bit of a bug if you're watching this in the current Alpha 2. I will give you a little bit of a tip for racing if you want to be faster. If it is rear-wheel drive, put the car all the way up to 14 for ride height. That makes you your fastest. If it is front wheel drive, like this Honda Civic, slam it all the way to the ground. That makes you fastest. All wheel drive is somewhere in the middle. You kind of want to do, I think, six or seven for the ride height, and that's what makes you fastest in the racing department. But other than that, this looks so good. Now, one of my favorite things to do in all these videos is free cam. But I think today we've spent enough time going over a bunch of different features. I'm going to save free camming the uh, speed shop for another video. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.